Genshin Impact just finished their special program livestream for version 4.5, and to be honest, it's quite interesting and disappointing at the same time. The upcoming content will brought us a few new mechanisms that we never expected before, which will be great for some players. Just in case you missed the live stream or just don't want to spend 30 minutes watching the live stream, in this video I'll try to include all the important updates in less than 5 minutes. So let's move on to the video. Starting with the newest character to be released, Chiori is a new Geosword character that will be released in the first phase of version 4.5. A brief explanation about her skill. Tapping her E skill will make her dash forward and attack the enemy upwards, while holding her E skill will allow you to adjust the direction of her skill, similar to Kaching and Alhaitan. But not only that, just like most of Geo characters in game, after using her E skill, Chiori will summon her little automaton, Tamoto. This little doll will have you in the battle by dealing damage to the enemy, which will scale off of her attack and defense. And if there's any Geo construct nearby while Tamato is around, Chiori will summon one more Tamoto to aid us in the battle. It is unclear how many Automaton that can be summoned at a time, but it seems like only two Tamoto that can be exist at the same time. And not only that, when you already unlock her specific talent, after you use her elemental skill, it will allow you to tap her elemental skill once again which will make a switch to another character in all roster and seems like you will get some kind of buff after this action. What is it? I don't know. Next on, after a few years pass, we finally get another type of banner. Along with Chiori and Ido's banner for the first phase and Nivellet's and Kazuha's for the second phase, Genshin will release a new type of banner, the Chronicle Wish. The Chronicle Wish will feature some limited characters and weapon. For this period, Yula, Albedo, and Klee will be featured in this wish as the limited character. And on the weapon side, it will be Beacon of the Reed Sea, Song of Broken Pines, and Hunter's Path. And for the most asked question about this banner, the Chronicle Wish will use the Intertwined Fates. Yes, this pink bluish one, not the blue one. Which basically means it's still a premium wish. And similar to Weapon Banner, in Chronicle Wish, you will need to choose your path by selecting your designated character or weapons from the list. If the designated item is a character, the 5 star item that you can obtain in the wish will all be characters. And the same thing if you choose weapon. And just like the weapon banners, there will also be a fate point. But this time we will only need one of these. So basically if you lose your first 50-50, the second one will be guaranteed. But unfortunately, seems like your pity from other event will not be carried to the Chronicle Wish, as this is a completely different type of wish. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And not only that, only the pity that will remain if the Chronicle banner change, while the fate point will be reset, just like the weapon banner. To simply put, if you lose your 50-50, next time you'll be guaranteed to get the next character you want. But that guarantee will be reset in the next banner's phase which is kinda disappointing from my point of view. And for events, next patch event will give us a free pole arm, Dialogues of the Desert Sages, along with its refined materials. This event will basically want you to play with alchemy, cultivation, and selling stuff. A management simulator, if you will. And the other events will be another TCG event, a battle event, a slime shooting event, and the most interesting one for me is this. After years we've been asking about this, we'll finally be able to pet the cat in-game, which will be part of the in-game event, the Villa and Fortress Ferdesi. Other than that, some adjustment will be applied after version 4.5 is live. One of them is this. You can see the required material for talent level up on the left side of the character's talents menu, which will make it slightly better than the current version. And also, there will be a new training guide that will help player with the goals and suggestions for some characters like the recommended level, weapon, talent, or artifact. So I think those are the most important thing in these updates. If I missed something, please let me know in the comment section down below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.